Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to look at a method called savefig. So, last video, and I'll go ahead and put that up here for the uh, little pie chart that we did. And if you're new here, that's what we do. We take one video, build on to another one, build on to another one, build on to another one. So, all right, as you can see, we can just we can save there but we have all kinds of typing and zoom ba doom ba doom but we are we are learning to program so I know what the chart looks like I just want to save it so we are going to look and it helps if you type right um, at the f in the fig and the uh, so right now we have the fig which is our figure so this is another example of why breaking this out and doing it in the long form is the best pra <clears throat> excuse me is the best practice so we do dir on fig we get a whole bunch of other stuff and I'm not good with my alphabet and it is right here but we're gonna trust me for a second and save fig boom so it takes it and it just saves it so wherever we want to save it we go and do that so we are also going to add our import OS rerun this again and close that and we're gonna use what we know and we are going to put this in uh, OS dot get we got current equals OS dot get current working directory and then we're going to save it to fig dot save fig current plus backspace pi pgn and close that and rerun this close it and we go right here actually let's do that and boom I didn't test this make sure we you guys can see this bam and there it is saved to exactly where I wanted in the exact location so that is an awesome tool and that's why breaking this out I know it seems weird I know we can just go and do what we want but this there's just so many features that break out and they separate that's why this is such an awesome awesome feature so alright and it's just it's just best practice and so we've got another method under our belt so save fig there we go and now we know how to do it without with being seamless and not having to touch any of the Windows features because we're learning to program so as always guys thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that watermark down below and that notification bell and the thumbs up too and please leave any comments questions or any video requests below and I'll get right to them. So as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.